welcome to another vlogmas video today's video is super fun because i'm filming on my big camera as well as i made my bed for this video and i get to film when there's daylight it's really overcast as you can tell but it's still daylight and i have been working a lot but i took today off so that's always super fun i hope you guys have been enjoying my videos lately i can't believe i'm actually succeeding i was not expecting that but um, I think without further ado, we're just gonna get started with the questions. And I'm probably gonna title this something different because no one like clicks on Christmas tags. So I'll probably like clickbait it a little bit. I'm just giving you the insider scoop. I'm wearing my maroon top because I just feel like it's festive. And, um, these questions are actually different. I was trying to find different questions to answer. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out. As well as follow me on Instagram. All of those beautiful links are down below. Starting off, the first question is, as a child, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished for? Um, I don't have siblings, but I'm going to change it to like, have you ever gotten a present you wished for? And that is true. I forget what year it was. I think it was 2011 or 2010 or 2012. It was around, it was one of those years, but I had saved up for a MacBook. Like I had half of the money to get a MacBook and I really, really, really wanted that for Christmas. And my parents surprised me and I ended up getting a laptop, a MacBook Pro that year. And I was so excited. I was just so thrilled. The next question is, be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I love giving gifts and as you guys know, if you guys know me, and this isn't a bad thing, but it's just how it is. When I want something, I just buy it for myself because I don't wanna like depend on someone else because I don't know, it's just one of those things. But I love shopping for people. Um, I feel like I'm a good gift getter. I really like put into thought like the person's gift and I would always say, okay, would they use this? Would they like this? Would they be surprised? So I love giving gifts because I love seeing people's reactions and everything. The next question is, do you make New Year's resolutions? Do you stick to them? Um, if you guys haven't watched my other video, I mentioned my least favorite holiday is New Year's. I hate New Year's so much. Um, I have made resolutions um, in the past. I think I did a video on it for this year and I stuck to those, you know, I stuck to those goals or resolutions. I don't know if I could do a side aerial, haven't tried, but um, that was one of them I think. I think you should always just set goals throughout the year and like stick to them. I don't know, I'm really big on goals and setting them and sticking to them. Number four, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? We typically always open presents on Christmas Eve, like all of our presents, because the day after you focus on what Santa gives you. So we open all of our family gifts on Christmas Eve. Number five, do you visit a Poor's people places on Christmas day. What type of question is that? Well, no, not on Christmas day, but, um, my family and I did volunteer at a, um, it was kind of like a halfway house. It was for like troubled teens on new year's Eve. We would like go and bring them presents and like we would throw a Christmas party for them. It was on Christmas Eve because they didn't have necessarily like their family there or in town. So we did that. So if you consider that yes to the question, if not, no, but we did that for several years and it was good. It taught me a lot, especially when I was younger about certain things. That's a very odd question. Okay. The next question is, have you ever made a snowman? Yes, I have. Um, when I was uh, really young, probably like kindergarten age, I would make snowmen because that is when we lived in Ohio. The next question is, how many gifts have you received on Christmas? I don't really know because I don't really count. I'm having a feeling that this person, like English isn't their first language because um, I had to like change, I had to reword that. So, um, I probably receive six, maybe. It depends. Stocking stuffers don't really count because it's just like little stuff, but um, probably like six or seven. Typically, I just ask for one big item that costs a lot of money. So um, in the past, in the years past, I have 
um, just gotten like one or two gifts. The next question is, how do you decorate your house on Christmas day? Okay, I'm just gonna change this to how we decorate for Christmas. So when we had like a front porch and everything, we went all out decorating our front porch and we had like um, flamingos out in the little grassy area. But now we kind of just like put bows up um, on our lights to our garage. Um, we used to put like twinkling lights in the bushes and then we had this light up reindeer. But um, this year we're not really decorating just because we have just so much stuff. So we're working on clearing out some of our belongings and hopefully next year we'll get the show on the road with the decorations. But we typically put up a tree, we have stuffed animals, we have themed Santas around the house, we have um, Snow Village, it is collection. It's a collectibles type of thing by Department 56 and it's really, really nice. The next question is, is your Christmas tree real or fake? Our Christmas trees are fake. They used to be real um, a while back when we lived in Ohio because there was actually good quality trees. Here in Florida, I don't, we just don't find the trees to be that good of quality and it's easier to manage a fake tree. So we have a fake tree. The next question is most memorable holiday moment. I've already touched on this, but it was when I got the second half of the money to buy my laptop. That was the best thing ever. Also, when my grandparents would like give us money, it was like always like, so sweet because um, like, it's not like they were, my grandparents were not like made of money, but they like made sure that all the grandkids got like the same amount of money from them each year and it was so nice. Um, so that was always really memorable and that was a really memorable Christmas present. Another memorable present would have definitely been my first iPod. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a rainbow. There is a rainbow. Hold on. I'm going to take a picture and I'll insert it in this video because like that is just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Um, tell me about a person who makes your Christmas day very special. Um, well, obviously like my parents, but like I see them all the time, but typically like my aunts, like both like Aunt Steph and my Aunt Wendy always make Christmas special. I guess my uncles too, like Uncle Brock. I'm um, basically my whole family like makes the holiday season special, but I would have to say Aunt Steph because she makes these really, really good Rice Krispie treats. And they're like, I think they're homemade. I don't know, but she just makes them and they're so good. And then Aunt Wendy, you know, likes a party with her. So um, it's always like nice to have her in town and stuff. Um, so definitely like them. And then um, just like, you know, family and like filming the vlogs, just like I still watch them to this day. I'm so, so, so happy that I always film one each year. Okay, so basically the next question is, which celebration do you like better, your birthday or Christmas? And I would definitely have to say um, Christmas because like I don't really go too out for my birthdays to be honest. Like I don't have like a lot of friends over. I think the last birthday quote unquote party that I had was my 22nd birthday. Um, that was like pretty cool. We just had uh, like friends over to the house. You can watch the vlog if you want to. Um, but typically we don't really do, I mean, I don't do a lot of friend stuff for my birthday. Um, we just go to a nice restaurant, dress up and just, I don't know, like I, I'm just pretty chill on my birthday, but Christmas is just where it's at. So definitely Christmas. I would definitely say Christmas. The next one is use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. That's weird. I don't know. Um, I'm not that excited for Christmas this year just because it's like going to be low key and like chill. I don't even know what we're doing on Christmas. I know I requested Valerie to make her French toast because that's always good and it's always a treat. She never makes it like ever. So it's going to be really nice and good. Um, other than that, like I have no idea what we're even doing. So I don't even know like how excited I am. I'm going to be excited, uh, to like film my, what I got for Christmas video. And like, I do love doing vlogmas. Um, it's always so fun. The next question is what do you like to do on Christmas break? Well, I've always like worked during the holiday season, whether it be like at universal or just like work where I am now. I mean, so I don't really have like a Christmas break, quote unquote, but um, 
I guess last year or a couple years ago, I loved going on the Disney cruise. That was super fun. The next question is, what holiday traditions are you looking forward to most this year? Probably just like waking up on Christmas morning and opening our little presents we got each other. That's always fun. Like we don't have like that many traditions. So I don't really know how to answer that one either. The next question is, what is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? I've already mentioned this. It was my MacBook Pro. Um, the next question is, what is the worst present you've ever received? What is the worst present? Okay, so this will sound like kind of crazy, but like, my parents do such a great job they try their hardest but when i was little and it's not anything specific but i would have like what i want like to a t like the exact thing right so they would like get me something but it wouldn't be the exact thing and in my head i'm like did you take notes on this like this isn't the exact one it's like something similar but like that's i think that's the biggest reason why i'm so like adamant and like i like to buy what i want because yes like it's a good piece but like that's not the exact one so i it's not there's not one thing in particular that i've like hated uh like getting as a christmas gift um i guess some of my parents friends they would always get me like ballerina like ornaments and i wasn't a big fan of that because i didn't even like doing ballet that was like my least favorite type of dance when i did dance so um, that's probably, if we're looking for like an item, that's probably the one that I would hate. Yeah, I would always be very specific. So that's why like when I started getting older and especially now, like in my head, I'm like, I'm going to pick it out. I'm going to send you the link or I just want the money so I can buy the exact thing that I want. Um, or else it's just like a waste, you know, like, I mean, if you're not going to use something, then like, it's just a waste. So anyway, so, um, there's not anything like specifically that I hate. The next question is, what is your all-time favorite holiday food sweet treat? Um, definitely my aunt's uh, Buckeyes. Those are really, really good every year, as well as the Ghirardelli Peppermint Bark. You can't forget candy canes. And definitely my aunt's, um, my other aunt's um, Rice Krispie Treats, those are so good. Our Christmas cookies, basically like everything, okay. The next question is, what is your favorite Christmas film? Elf. The next question is, what is your favorite Christmas song? Uh, my favorite Christmas song is probably like um, something from Charlie Brown Christmas. And then what is your favorite thing about Christmas? I just love like the spirit, the decorations, the joy and magic in the world. It's just so nice. And my lighting's like going away. This is great. What makes the holidays special for you? I think that what makes the holidays special for me would definitely be just like being surrounded by family and just having a lot of laughs and creating a bunch of memories. The next question is, what would be your dream place to visit during the holiday season? I would love to visit somewhere cold during the holiday season just to bring back those cozy vibes from when we lived in Ohio and it would snow and everything. I think that would be amazing, but I'm probably gonna go to Hawaii for some sort of Christmas sometime because my cousin and her now husband um, are getting like sent there for the military. So we will probably be spending a holiday in Hawaii. Okay, so basically the next question is, would you like to stay home with your family during Christmas or travel with your family? I definitely love being home just because I'm naturally a homebody. So being home during Christmas is the best thing ever, but I'm not opposed to going somewhere. Like it's fine, but I would rather stay home. The next question is, what's the best part about Christmas for you? I feel like I've answered this. I feel like someone has just taken and copied and pasted like multiple questions on this thing. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna read this word by word because it is just kind of funny. The next question is, who do a lot of work in your family on Christmas day? Like who writes like that? No offense, like I am not the grammar police. Like I did not go to school for English, but come on. And that would be Valerie definitely because she like gets all the food and organizes everything. So definitely Valerie. The last and final question is you have been granted one Christmas wish. What will it be? So it would definitely be like, well, okay. So materialistically, 
It would either be the Gucci bag I want or a new car, just because like I have that like dream car thing. Um, so materialistically, either one of those two, which I don't know if that's gonna happen this year. Uh, the car thing, definitely not. The car thing, not until like four or five years, probably. Um, like realistically, it would definitely be to um, have the COVID and like the variant just like end because I just wanna get back to normal life, even though I would love to work from home. Like that's one little like also a request. Like I want everything to go back to normal, but I also wanna be able to work at home. You know what I mean? So I guess that fine line. But um, just to be happy, healthy, live life, and just be thankful for what I have. Um, and do YouTube and get my What I Got For Christmas video up because I do that every year and I'm so excited. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.